Hello, welcome to my presentation of our paper on the compactness of hashing modes and efficiency beyond market rate. This is a joint work with Elena and Riva from TU Vienna and Orno Broy from Klagenfurt. The general outline of the rest of my talk is as follows. I am going to start with one slight description of our result. To describe things in detail, I shall first state our motivation and recall some background results. Then we jump into our results on the two modes that we present, ABR and ABR+. Finally, I am going to briefly discuss some related extensions of our work. Here is the one slide representation of our work. We introduce two hashing modes, ABR and ABR+. Both the modes are based on two end to end bit compression functions. The parameter of ABR mode matches stamps bound from crypto 2008. When compared to popular Markle tree, ABR mode compresses around 50% more messages by making same number of calls to the underlying compression function. In comparison, ABR plus achieves indifferentiability security notion. The only compromise it makes is it compresses one message block less than the ABR mode. Our work has both theoretical and practical motivations. Indeed, achieving stamps bound for general parameters have been an open problem since 2008. From practical perspective, the problem relates to minimizing multiplicative complexity. As more function calls implies increased multiplicative complexity, the natural question is how to compress more messages by making same number of function calls and thus minimizing the multiplicative complexity. Of course, an efficient hash function has other applications as well, like in archiving, proof systems, etc. Let's start from the background. A hash function takes strings of arbitrary length as input and produces strings of fixed length as output. A cryptographic hash function needs to satisfy some security notions. Two primary requirements are the collision resistance and the pre-image resistance. We say an adversary finds a collision in the hash function if it can produce two distinct messages m and m prime such that hm equal to hm prime. That is the messages are mapped to the same point. We require that it takes approximately 2 to the power n over too many hash evaluations before the adversary can find a collision. Similarly for pre-image resistance. The adversary is asked to invert the hash function h on any given point. We expect that an adversary needs to make approximately 2 to the power n many hash computations before finding the pre-image. There are notions like second pre-image resistance or target collision resistance analyzed in the literature. However, they are implied by collision resistance. In the last 15 years, indifferentiability from a random oracle have appeared as major security criteria. It says that the adversary should not be able to distinguish, distinguish the hash function h from a random function from 0 1 start to 0 1 n. I would like to point out that indifferentiability from random oracle is indeed a very strong security notion and in particular it subsumes collision resistance and pre-image resistance. The hash functions are designed in two steps. First, one chooses a suitable function f which is a mu bit to n bit function with mu greater than or equal to n. The hash function is implemented via a domain extension algorithm or a mode of operation algorithm which on input m iteratively queries the function f as a subroutine with suitable inputs and computes the hash value based on the responses. In the figure, the blocks gi's are the one which decides the output of decides the input to query the function f. The security argument for the hash function is established by a reduction from f. It is shown that an attack against h can be converted into an attack against f. Often information theoretic arguments are used where f is modeled as an ideal object like a random function or a random permutation. Two classical and yet the state of the art examples are Marklet Amgard and Marklet Tree. Marklet Amgard is a cascade construction where the message is pre processed by applying a padding. For Marklet Tree, the data tree data structure is used. 
to evaluate the hash. The messages are injected at the leaf level. The functions are evaluated level wise and the output of the root node is given as the hash value. Modern hash designs employing Markle Ramgard or Markle tree often uses padding to ensure the functions are independent. Blake or MD6 are good examples of such padding. In this work, we ask how can we construct the most efficient domain extension algorithm? In concrete terms, we wish to construct a collision resistant k into n bit hash function, yet making minimum number of calls to the underlying 2 into n bit function f. Of course, we are not the first to ask this question. In Eurocrypt 2005, Black, Koshan and Shrimpton proved that to construct a 2 into n bit collision resistant function from n bit permutations, more than one call to the permutation is necessary. Rogawe and Steinberger generalized this result to show that any k into ln bit function from permutations need to make 2k minus l many queries to the n bit permutations. In 2008, Stam refined the above bound and conjectured that any collision resistant p plus s to s bit function from n plus c to n bit function requires s plus 2t divided by 2n plus 2c minus s calls. In concrete terms, Stamps bound implies to construct 2n to n bit function from n to n bit functions, three calls are necessary. Similarly, to construct k n to n bit function from 2n to n bit functions, 2k minus 1 by 3 many calls are necessary. The only upper bound achieving n by 2 bits of collision security is the Shrimpton Stamp construction from 2008. The construction is described in the picture. The construction uses three n to n bit functions and compresses two n bit message to construct n bit digest. However, the problem is open for general parameters. In particular, we did not know whether to construct k n to n bit function from two n to n bit functions, 2k minus 1 by 3 many calls are sufficient to achieve collision resistance. And to put matters in perspective, we recall that the Markle tree makes k minus 1 many calls. We show that yes, indeed such constructions exist. We present an augmented binary tree ABR hashing mode, which compresses k n bit message to n bit digest by making 2k minus 1 by 3 calls to the underlying 2 n to n bit functions and achieve n by 2 bit of collision resistance. Compared to Markle tree, this gives almost 50% improvement as 50% more messages can be com compressed. We also present a simple modification of ABR tree that we call ABR plus mode that can achieve indifferentiability from random oracle by making the same 2k minus 1 by 3 calls to the underlying functions. The only difference is that in case of ABR plus we compress one block less. The ABR tree is shown in the picture. Starting with a tree, at each non-leaf function call, an additional message block is zored with both the input. Like Shimpton stamp, one previous chaining value is feed forward and zored with the output. I am going to present an overview of the collision re resistance argument. The main difficulty is in handling the fact that the adversary may query the functions adaptively. For example, the adversary may make some queries to the root say and later make queries at the lower level and try to match with the previous query input. The core idea is to define a bad event if such match happens too many times. We derive an upper bound on the expected number of such match and apply Markov inequality. In more detail, the crucial parameter of our analysis is the notion of the load of, the, of a node in the transcript. It is the number of computable messages in the transcript with queries to all the nodes in the subtree of that node. The idea is conditioned on some bad events, the collision probability can be derived in terms of load square by 2 to the n. The main technical task is to find the correct bad events such that the derivation works and the load is suitably bounded. We identify two bad events. The first one happens when a query to a function 
increases the load of that function by k to the power l for some suitably chosen k. The, here l is the height of the tree. The second one happens when a query to a lower level function say f j minus t b prime increases the load of a function f j b by k to the power l here the function j minus t b prime is in the subtree of j b. What we could prove is that the collision probability of each of the small blocks conditioned on the bad events not happening can be bounded by k to the power 2l times q square by 2 to the n. We can also bound the bad events individually. For the first one, one can employ a previously known technique. However, for the second one, we need our Markov trait. The ABR plus mode is shown in the picture. Compared to ABR mode, the additional message block is not sought at the leaf level. The general idea is that a collision resistant pre image aware function when composed with independent random function gives indifferentiability from random oracle. So, in case of ABR plus, we take two ABR trees and then envelop them with an independent random function to compute the ABR plus hash value. Now, this idea of indifferentiability is analogous to the well-known principle that collision resistance followed by PRF gives us a PRF. The same idea works here. The collision resistance of the ABR modes ensure that the query to the root are all fresh. And as the root function in itself is a random function, the arguments go through. Now, I am going to talk about certain corollaries of our result that may not be very apparent. To start with, consider the direct extension of Shrimpton's stamp construction in the 2 n 2 n bit setting. Here the function compresses 5 message blocks with 3 calls to the function f. This construction in particular has a simpler collision resistance argument. Here it is sufficient to consider level wise adversary. The reason is that the messages are injected that are injected at the leaf node does not affect the transcript as the probabilities are calculated over the randomness of the function f as well as the each of these function fi's are random functions. Thus, there are broadly two cases to consider collision at the leaf node and collision at the final output conditioned on no collision at the leaf nodes. The probability for the collision at the leaf node can be individually bounded by q square by 2 to the n. Whereas, for the third condition, we give a new counting argument where we prove the collision probability conditioned on no collision at the leaf can be bounded by n square q square by 2 to the n. Once the collision probability is settled, then like the previous case, we get an intermediate indifferentiability result. We take to 5 n to n bit ABR construction and add an independent random function as envelope. Like previous case, we can argue that the pre image aware collision resistance followed by random function gives indifferentiability. These constructions give an intermediate, relatively easier to prove collision resistant hash function where the additional messages are injected at alternate levels. For the proof of this, we need to recursively apply our indifferentiability result with the composition theorem. To conclude, we presented new design principles for tree hash with almost 50% more efficiency than Markle tree. This is the first general parameter construction towards achieving stamps bound. Interestingly, we get an almost optimal efficiency with indifferentiability from random oracles as well. A natural open problem is to achieve stamps bound for double length hash functions. This concludes my presentation. Thank you.